way to school, just a mile down the road. Um, it was a misty, rainy morning, and, I, and they met. They were meeting an 18-wheeler, and a car pulled around the 18-wheeler and met them head on. Stewart was hurt up pretty bad. Looked looked rough, looked rough really. Uh, cut up with a bunch of glass. Actually, I kind of thought Derek was going to be okay. He looked, he looked pretty good. I got there. I saw one little spot on his ear, right, right along there, and I thought it was a little bit of blood, but actually found out later it was, it was spinal fluid um, because he had ended up having a um, brainstem contusion. Derek was in the hospital for seven weeks. When he came home, he did nothing but swallow. You know? So that's, he didn't do anything. You know, he, he swallowed, but we know now that was, that was a miracle. That was a wonderful thing that he could swallow. Boy, it was fantastic. But he didn't do anything else. No facial expression, no eye movement. You know, he always try to walk, make his eyes, and his eyes would move up. That Eric, he loved um, Michael Jackson. <laughs> he loved Michael Jackson. If he could do the worm, whatever, and that moonwalk, <laughs> he could do it. So I want to tell this story. That day I had the Michael Jackson stuff. I had it wide open, just as loud as I could get it. And I was out in front of him trying to moonwalk and trying, just carrying on, you know, to this. And all of a sudden, he just smiled, just choked, lit up. And, and it was uh, it was just so awesome. But then the muscles wouldn't release. You know, it just, it, just, it was, it, it, it looked strange because it kind of halfway came on back down. But thoroughly, you know what I mean? Because that just blew us all away. Something's working, something's working. having problems breathing and taking a deep breath because all the mus muscles were not working right. So together we came up with the idea that let's try a harmonica. Of course he'd already been working on some medical things trying to get more inspiration and expiration to keep his lungs clear because he tended to get respiratory um, infections. So we said well let's buy him and uh, harmonica and I think we went to I think we were at Cracker Barrel and we picked up a five dollar harmonica and I can remember that the first time we gave it to him he didn't make a sound but that didn't stop us we kept giving it to him and giving it to him and giving it to him and, and he gradually there would be more breath for him to make a noise, and he, he enjoyed that noise. church and, and I'm pretty sure it was a down syndrome guy here that played and he had they had put a board they had put something on a real guitar other than the strings for him to stroke on. And um and I looked at that and came home and had the concept. I said, I'm just gonna get me a you know washboard and, and uh put it on there. That's what we did. Washtar took it to everybody. Anybody that could play an air guitar can play a wash tar. Listening to uh, to clouds and and then and then reading those words. Um, you, you can tell that's from the heart. You can tell that's absolutely from that young man's heart.
36 fabulous years. Stuart. And is Stuart older or younger than you? Oldest. Older by how many minutes? Three minutes. Three minutes. That's right. And who is funnier, you or Stuart? Derek. Derek's funnier. Yeah. Who's cooler? You are. Yeah. Check out that hat. You're the coolest. Always. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Ma, Ma Sally made me that way. Mother Sally made you cool? Yeah. Yeah. Ma Sally, making you cool. Yeah, always. Always. Really always. Do you love her? Uh. Always. Always. <laughs> Bible tell, tell the so I love the Mom Sally. Clean, hard, hard for love. Oh. Yeah. You're awesome. Yes. Okay, so do you want to play some music? Yeah. Always.